Good morning, ladies and gents. Guess Gex back playing a bit more of the operative. No one lives forever. Except me, apparently, because this game does feel like it goes on forever sometimes. But anyway, <coughs> excuse me, we are... No, I'm really joking. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I was just backtracking a little bit, because we've just jumped off that tray. Dead end. Oh, okay. I, was, I thought for a horrible minute. I was wondering what was going to happen if we tried following the... Oh, hang on. I'm trying to turn around. Dead end. It's a dead end. So we'll carry on this way. Anyway, we've obviously just off those three people over there. That reminded me a little bit of the... I don't know why. Probably because I was playing it recently, thinking about it. Um, Resident Evil 4, right at the beginning. Um, if you try going back over the bridge after um, what happens, happens. Oh. Okay, so anyway, we've off these three people. I was sort of hoping it, this was going to go a bit further and run him over, but it didn't. Anyway, we went in here, we got some armour, and then it looked like we had to go down one of these tracks. Hello. That doesn't look like it's loaded properly. It hasn't, it hasn't loaded past there. Anyway. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, we found this note, didn't we, that said something about, please remove these boards, blah, 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 blah. Can I karate chop these? Hiya! No. I mean, in all fairness... we got loads of these. Nope. There we go. I was going to say, in all fairness, if you'd run out of ammunition, that would be, um... Quite a slow level there. I mean, I know I suppose those guys that you killed on the train would have dropped stuff. Anyway, we have a wander up the tracks. I can't remember what objectives are at all. Nope, that's not the button, is it? Rendezvous with Unity contra Contact. Look at that music. I love it. Jazzy. Jazzy. Perfect. Oh, and the weather. I know it says brooding clouds outside. The weather is not dissimilar IRL. In fact, it's just started raining. Literally just started raining. I've got like eight drops on the window. What the hell? I'm assuming this is one of those that it doesn't really matter if we get busted. Because we may well get busted. Oh, it's a mountain. I thought the sky's got a bit. I thought the skybox had got a bit weird. Oh, I see. Imagine that. Headshot from here. How do you, how do you jump? No. No. That's how you jump. L1. Is he going to see me? I mean, that's, that's pretty sure. Headshot or locked. Oh, look at it. Bouncing between the headshot. I thought he started running there, I was like, you see me. This, I love it. Typical, like, uh-oh. Oh, there's a camera there as well. Nope, stop, lock it on. Yep, shocker. Oh, for sake. Right, gonna hide around the corner, wait for him to come around the corner. Well, we may as well be on this now, I guess. Okay, we're just gonna hide around this little bit, and then gun down everyone that comes around the corner. That's the thing, I mean, surely shooting a camera with a suppressed weapon wouldn't guarantee, wouldn't necessarily mean the alarm goes off. I mean, you know, they would hear it. Oh, he's got one of those cool weapons, I think. Oh, God almighty! He would bloody change weapon then, wouldn't he? Holy smokes, that made me jump. That was like literally the worst possible timing. Yeah, I meant this this gun. There's something I call about it. I like I like the design of it. Anyway, holy smokes, that genuinely did make me jump. That was one of those literally the worst possible moments. Okay, I can knock on the door. I always find it weird that if you can't open it, she can still knock on the door. Oh, more intel. I do like the intel in this. I can't believe it. I just got a job offer from Sanctimonious Evil. Word on the streets is that they're planning something big involving the Eiffel Tower and 6,000 rolls of toilet paper. They're going to, um... Oh, what do they call it when they throw... There's a name for it, isn't it? When they throw toilet roll over, like, a house and stuff like that. To... Oh, there's a ladder. I see a ladder. How did they get here? Like, that dude that was up on the on this bridge. How did he get to... I don't know how he did that. Anyway, um, yes, they're obviously going to gonna bog roll the Eiffel Tower. That's not going to help, is it? Oh my god, I thought for a second I was going to fall off at the top of the ladder. And you know what this game's like about ladders? That if you fall off more than one rung of a ladder, you're dead. Can I? Almost looks like I could... No, I'm not, not going to risk it, because that's death, isn't it? Oh. Oh, okay. It'd be weird if one, of the, one day somebody actually opened the door. Was that yes? Gunned them in the face. Right, over here. Shoddy paintwork. This needs a repaint, doesn't it? These are, say, dark brooding skies. Oh, and sort of smoke. Oh, it looks like barbed wire or something coming out of the chimney. Right, oh, hello, mate. Oh, this one does open. Oh, got weird Tomb Raider 2 vibes then. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, I'm very glad that opened again. Dur, dur. Dumas. Oh, Dumas. What do I know that name from? Alexander Dumas. Of course, yep. I was thinking, where do I know that name from? Right. Um. Right, okay. Now what? Oh, hang on. Do I see a weird air venty thing? Can I crawl through here? No. What is this? Ah! This! Super spy sneaky beaky. Oh, God. Underneath the house. Right. We'll crawl around here. Nothing to pick up. So we're trying to rescue somebody. I've got a feeling our cover may be blown. Look at these kind of insulating breeze blocks. I can't even remember where we're supposed to be. Like, what country we're supposed to be in. Some... Hey, I don't know. Then what you oh, no. Oh, no. Did he kill him? Uh oh I see some armour, so we should be alright. I'll hide behind this thing. Oh, no. I've accidentally picked it up. I didn't mean to pick it up. Not quite yet, anyway. Come on, I know you're there. There's another dude to the left. Damn it. I quite, I quite like, and I, I don't mean this in a, like a, a weird sadistic way. What is that? Oh, it's a roll of film. Photos of DV's tour of the facility. Who's DV? No idea who that is. DV's Mark Top Secret. Okay. Just sitting on a shelf. Why not? Um, I like the way, I quite like the way, not in a, not in a, a weird way that she screams when she's shot so you know when you've been hit instead of just having to like look at your health indicator like you're well aware that you've been pinged what's that oh can't pick it up too much ammo okay this doesn't look good this looks like i'm about to get jumped i am so glad that this game had very few levels that meant you you know if you there we go um that meant you that stealth was like compulsory because I hate those levels where if you get caught. Look at that, bits of camera. I like it. Oh. You know, because the, the, we, we had, I think, one or maybe two of those levels in this in which, like, you were not allowed to get spotted. And I, I hate those sort of levels. Is this wood? It smokes. What are they building? Uh, right, where do we go? Oh! I, I guess genuinely wasn't expecting to be able to get up there. Oh! How do I... No. If I can get onto this one, why can't I get onto this one? No. Really? Okay. Although it did look like there was a fence on the other side of that, so I probably didn't want to... Get up there. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Oh! I, I do! I think I want to get over here. I hope I want to get over here. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. Scene one done. Nice. Or oh, scene two done. Rescue attempt. Oh, scene one was on the train, wasn't it? I like that. I like that train level. There's a Scott Ash bloke there. The dude with the eye patch, who I think is the head of Harm. And then that weird kind of opera singing. Oh, no. Is she the one that's dead? I can't remember. Hang on. Quick swig of coffee. Okay, now I'm worryingly seeing a motorbike because I do remember. There's another bloody camera. Oh, oh, camera disabler. And you used to work for Evil Alliance. Yeah, for about a week. That bad, eh? He's definitely going to see me. That saying about the finality of evil. About the Holocaust, yeah. What? Well, that definitely applies to Evil Alliance. Those guys are a bunch of idiots with huge entitlement issues. They really think the world owes them something. That's pretty common in this line of work. <laughs> no kidding. I mean, I totally understand not wanting to have a legitimate job. At least be honest about it. Some guys get so self-righteous, like it's okay to be evil because life is hard. Hell with that. Deal with it. Be a man. I always heard good things about Evil Alliance. I know a lot of guys that think they're in this great little organization. Yeah, they have this weird credibility in the criminal industry for some reason. You notice the media doesn't take them seriously at all. I never really thought about it, but you're right. The guy that 
Brunson is a total moron. He's the most conniving, ambivalent little bastard I ever met. One day he's anti-American, the next he loves America and he hates the Germans. Sounds like a real jerk. Sad thing is, those idiots will never realize how insignificant they are. It's kind of ironic. They're irritating because they're stupid, but they're too stupid to realize it, which makes them even more irritating. <laughs> I don't mind them being stupid. I can tolerate stupid people. I just can't stand smug stupid people. Oh well, what you gonna do? Ah, you just gotta vent every once in a while, you know? I guess so. Well, I better get back. See ya! Wow, a lot to unpack there. A lot to unpack there. I mean, there's obviously I'm not going to go into it into into you know uh, into it too much. But there's obviously they're pretty clear what they're referring to there. But uh, anyway, which is it's surprisingly political for a game like this. And um, also, I like the fact that they say about you know just because life's hard on you, you know, you think oh, I'm going to I'm going to be evil and take the easy route and be horrible generally. But uh, and that's that's you should rise above that, which is very true, you know. Life is hard for a lot of people. Doesn't mean you doesn't entitle you to be a knobhead, basically. Anyway. Yep, there we go. I was gonna say it's it's weird playing this game without the alarm in the background, but yeah. Yeah, that conversation was surprisingly um Holy smokes. Oh, wow, okay. We have something a little bit more Umphy. I don't there we go. We're safe. Oh I haven't got any spare ammo for that. Hang on. Back to back to that. Back to my smug oh, I really I don't want to get on that motorbike. I really don't want to get on that motorbike. But obviously this road's gonna go on forever, isn't it? So I'm gonna need to get on it. Oh hang on, let me just see if there's some armour. Any armor? Oh, there we go. Yes, there are, I say sadly. Okay, I'm not going to go into it too much, but there are a lot of people in the world that sort of think, life's not fair, I'm going to be horrible. And it's just like, oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah, it's all on one stick. I forgot about the control. But yeah, you just say, you really should, in life, try to rise above that and still do the right thing, even if you've had a hard time. I know it's not always easy, but um, the hardest path is often the best of the one you're supposed to tread. Oh, no. Get off. Oh no! Terrible time to reload! Why won't you die? Holy smokes. Okay, there is some armour, thank God for that. And some intel. I thought it'd be worth stopping it. Two, Secret Officer Cranston Bryan, presumably. Dr. Schenker's productivity has been very disappointing. If the good doctor is unwilling to cooperate, the executive director <gasps> may be forced to institute a motivational regime. <gasps> note, note that it will apply to you as well as Dr. Schenker. Okay, what's on our calendar? Tanks, of course, why not? Are you kidding? Look how far away they are! I think I actually managed to kill one. How do I... Is there a switch or something? How do I make that barrier go up? He's still alive. I've got to be careful there. Oh. oh, screw this noise. I'm just going to jump over this for the minute and then go deal with these and I'll come back for the bike. I like the fact that these uh, sound like they're underwater. I mean, technically, I guess the game isn't saying you have to take the bike. I mean, it's obviously probably easier, but you could technically walk all this. You effing die, mate! Holy smokes! These lot are a bit tougher, aren't they? Thing is, if I'm trying to go through these on the bike, I'm going to get shot to bits. Plus, I can't even work out how to open this gate bit. I mean, look at that! Lost like a third of an armor already. I quite like the fact as well that you lose some health as well as armor at the same time. Because obviously, even wearing armor, it would effing hurt getting hit by rounds. How do I? Oh, I just do that. So you did actually have to get. Hang on, did I grab? Yeah. You do actually have to get off the bike at that point. Look at it. Terrible. 
Again, an actual being an IRL biker. You think I'd love this? You think I'd really enjoy this bit? But no, not so much. Oh, look at that, the little way. Little revs and accelerometer. Accelerometer go up as well when you do it. I like it. I am just going to kind of drive a little bit, then shoot anyone I need to shoot, and then get back on it. I don't like this at all. It's this. Look at this. How sensitive that is. That's insane. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Way! It's still really sensitive. You can actually use the other stick just for left and right. Uh oh. Might need this one. Beautiful! There's another one further up as well. Yeah, this is considerably. Oh, there's two more up ahead. I don't know if they heard those gunshots. I'm going to try and ambush them, but they're almost, they're definitely going to see me. <laughs> Using a tree as cover, I like this. And the reticule says I can shoot through the tree, apparently. Beautiful! Okay, we might have an issue here. Oh, he's dead! Sweet! Awesome. Okay, go grab his stuff. Nice. More ack ammo. More smug ammo. Yeah, this is going to be, it's clearly going to be a fairly slow progress thing going through here. I mean, again, I, I, you know, I like this. Quite open levels. This is, a, this is a massive game. It really is. You know, there's a lot. Nice. There's, there's a lot more to this than I'd expected. I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, seven or eight little spy missions, you know, just standard shooter stuff, kind of like a James Bond clone, but it's absolutely not. I'm amazed this game isn't more well known. Actually, that is a bit easier to use when I'm just using one stick for forward and then the other for... Although it's still really sensitive. Man, it... I like the fact that you can, like, jump off the bike really quickly as well. Oh, I see another... Oh, no, it's just telegraph pole. I thought that was another outpost. I wonder if there's any way, secret items here as well. I'm still paranoid because, obviously, the, my one criticism with this game... Hey, are you kidding? There's a bloody helicopter. One of my criticisms with this game is the fact that you can't save. Did that just drop off a load of troops? I mean, it did. Yeah, you can't, like, save mid-mission, so if you die, you've got to go all the way back to there. Which makes the whole thing of having a save in... The, unless I'm doing it wrong or something, but... I'm getting shot at from somewhere. What?! Are you kidding?! Stop, 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 get off, get off, get off. Okay, we might have a little bit of a problem here. <laughs> Am I supposed to be shooting that helicopter down? Yeah, it's good smoking, isn't it? Quick! Nice! Kablooey! Holy smokes! As I say, unless I'm unless I'm doing it wrong in terms of how to save in this, but I don't seem to be able to. Boy. My other big problem with this is is ladders. I see some armor. <laughs> that was a bit messy, wasn't it? Why was I killed? No. Oh, God damn it! This is exactly what I was talking about. Okay, I will restart when I get back to that point. You absolute swine. Okay, I think, after about four attempts, we finally managed to frag that dude with the RPG, who was very annoying. The helicopter's gone, but I found that you could actually tag it from just, like, there, without, without cray, crashing the bike into it. If you stand on that little rock platform, you can sort of do it from there. So I'm pretty sure he's dealt with. 
that does look like a secret door. I have to say, I noticed this before, but it did look. It looks slightly different colour. Now all we need to do, get up this ladder without getting. Yeah, there's a big button there. Okay. Okay, we are on this bit. Okay, so this is the first time. Get off. There we go. Nice. And uh, I don't even know what that is, but it's, it looks good. Okay, we've got some armour as well. Notice that the RPG we're not able to pick up, of course. Why is it giving me one of them? Oh, do I need to hack it? No. I don't know. See, that's not open. Oh, hang on. Code breaker. Do I need to... Do I need to hack this? No. Hmm. Okay. What am I hacking exactly? Why is it giving me this? This is really weird. Oh, hang on. I've just seen something outside. Oh, God. Hang on. Please go down the ladder properly. There we go. I think I've died more due to ladders than anything else in this game. Ah, ah, is there something to hack on here? Oh, has this just come out of the ground? Is that a hackable thing? It looks hackable. This is what hacking looks like, by the way. This is what hacking in the 1960s looked like. Come on. Nice! A hidden, a hidden lair in the mountainside. I should have known. I like the way the bike turns to face... I was assuming I was supposed to take the bike in. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be the end of the level. but Oh, oh maybe it is the end of the level. Aha! It is the end of the level. Rescue attempt, scene four. Right, we're going to leave it there for the moment. Because um, that's about half an hour. So in the next part, we shall see what we've got to do. There might be a film clip. If there is, we'll watch that. And then I'll end it there. Yeah, that RPG dude was a bit irritating. But I did quite like that level generally. And thankfully, we weren't stuck on the bike for too long. Oh, here we go. Stay alert. There's been some trouble upstairs. What kind of trouble? Spy trouble. <laughs> How do you know? That's just what they told me. I'd like to see a spy try to get in here. Well, make sure you're ready just in case one does. Nice. I like the way they look just exactly like the kind of Bond villains that you used to get in, like, uh, Sean Connery and Roger Moore times. Anyway, we can leave it there, like I say. How do I... I would like to save my progress. Very much I'd like to save my progress. Okay. Hang on, why does it say done 100%? I don't understand that. Anyway. Okay, we're going to... No, 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 we'll save over this one, I think. There we go. Okay, so we're going to save over that one. And we're going to leave it there for the moment. So in the next part, we're going to try and infiltrate this villain's lair and see what they're up to. So thank you very much for watching this part. Take care of yourselves. Oh, no, we're trying to rescue someone. That's it, yeah. Take care of yourselves, and I shall see you again very soon.